Health officials are urging parents not to give their kids adult strength pain and cold medicine. This after a number of overdoses have been reported in at least one state. So here's the warning. Giving your kids adult versions of ibuprofen, acetamed... I always have a hard time seeing this. My mom would say it all the time. Acetaminophen? There you go. Can be harmful. Uh, the concentrations and the dosages can vary based on brand and the size of the child matters. So let's talk about this with a doctor, Dr. Daniel Brooks, the medical director at Banner Poison and Drug Information Center in Phoenix. Dr. Brooks, good morning. How serious and how prevalent have these overdoses been among kids who are given the adult doses of cold and flu medicine in light of this uh, shortage? Good morning, thank you for having us. It can be a potential uh, public health issue. Over the last two months or so, we've noticed a significant increase in calls to our poison center about using adult over-the-counter medications for children suffering with um, virus-like illnesses. And like you said, these medications and products can vary greatly, and it's very, very easy to give the wrong dose to a child. So it's, um, you know, when we extrapolate our numbers from our poison center to the 55 poison centers across the country, we realize that this is a public health issue. And in terms of the health risks, short and long term, what exactly could happen to your child if they're given too much ibuprofen or Tylenol? Yeah, I mean, the most common symptom is nausea and vomiting, but a very large dose or repeated large doses can lead to significant organ dysfunction, specifically the liver with acetaminophen or the kidneys with, with ibuprofen. But it, it, GI symptoms are most common, uh, but we really want to encourage parents to use medications as directed and when they have questions to call their poison center. And so in terms of signs uh, of, of children who have maybe overdosed or had too much medicine, are there are specific things that parents can look out for? Yeah, I mean, anything that's abnormal. I mean, because some of these children are really young, so it's kind of hard to get accurate, you know, information about what they're uh, feeling or, or, or suffering with. But nausea, vomiting, altered mental status, because, again, some of these over-the-counter medications contain medications that are our depressants, you know, can put people to bed or help them sleep at night. And when we give them to a young child, they can have significant effects. Johnson & Johnson actually came out last month and said there was no manufacturing shortage of children's or infant Tylenol. Yet the stores were saying that they actually have bare shelves. So does that mean that people are hoarding medicine? Do, do we have any info on that? Um, I don't. Uh, we don't track that. I'm sure it's multifactorial, but uh, I don't know how to answer that. That's okay. I, that's fair. You're a doctor, not a uh, consumer expert. Uh, thank you so much uh, for being with us. I just thought maybe anecdotally you'd heard some things, but we appreciate your time. And, and it's another warning for parents to watch out as to what they give their children. Yeah, and, and if I can say, just please call your poison center. I mean, there's nurses and pharmacists there 24 hours a day. It's free. It's confidential. They're specifically trained to help you with issues like this. We keep as many patients, including kids, at home as we can, which is about 75 to 80 percent. But we can also help triage you to the appropriate care if you need it. And it's really, really important now for people to stay out of the emergency departments because we're swamped. So please, you know, use medications as directed, get vaccinated, use masks. And when you're sick, please stay at home. Good advice always. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.